Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships. And today, we're going to be starting this game from the scratch, like a newbie. Right, absolutely uh, never have done this before and I'm doing it for you guys, OG, for you uh, initially, but hopefully it's gonna um, be helpful for other people as well. I created a new account, I used the link in the description to link to my original account to Leaky. Uh, I encourage you to do the same because you will have some bonuses and uh, uh, unlike when you all start on your own, you're gonna get... As far as I saw and read Warspite, that's a tier 6 premium ship. I think you might have to get to the tier 6 uh, level first to get it, but we'll go through this together. I will play from time to time on this account as well. Um, I will just show you now what you're gonna go through when you start. If you register to the link in the description of the video, uh, you will be directed to Wargaming page and Uliki is gonna be your, no, Ulyanov or my original big ish account bigger older account will be the initial one this is leaky uh, well it's the same person me playing it's just different name i had to use different email to create a new account and then you will have to just register and download the the app uh, the app is going to download the game i think it's many many gigabytes so inside so it's going to take a while for you to do this is a highly detailed good graphics game and it's going to take a while for you to download it but this is and then you can just start the game start the game and here we go accept the license agreement whatever nobody reads these this is probably they are, they own my house right so straight away this is incorrect email <laughs> i don't think so it is but uh, here we go let's try to sign in to see if it's gonna log it in uh, i put i think new password probably this is the message they got because i just created an account a few minutes ago and let's see where we are now there we go wow I haven't done this in a long, long time. Ooh, so choices, choices, choices. Uh, ship for the first time. Uh, I suggested in the comments to OG that he should go for German. Oh, cruisers. All oh, right, 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 everybody has a cruiser in the beginning, tier one cruiser. They're all crappy old World War One ships. I will suggest Erie, like I would suggest that the German Tech tree for battleships, Japanese for destroyers. Destroyers are game changers. It's really hard to play them. It's they're quite active. But um, I would, you know, I, I would suggest something much easier, like American or German tech tree. Uh, having a German last name, I will go for these ones. Absolutely no relationship. I actually didn't even want to go for German ships initially, but the game forced me. I will explain that, and I probably did already. But anyway, let's go with Hermelin. Hamelin, Hamelin, right? I haven't used my German in a while, so it's, it's quite rusty. I I'll, I won't. Right, so it's loading them up. The neighbors. Oh, this is a training battle or co op battle, something like that. We're gonna go to the battle straight away. Well, uh, good thing as any. Uh, right, 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 right. What the hell do you do here? Fine, fine, let's battle. I know the map, uh, usually it's much bigger, this is just a part of the map, we start on this harbor side, there's a harbor there on the other side, I don't think we can even see it. This is a, it's actually quite nice looking ship, I've totally forgot about this one. Uh, trust you, me, other teams have much worse ships. They're all Hermelin, ah, and they're also bots. Bots meaning that they are the, they are the, uh, well, the bots. Uh, what we need to do here, I don't even know what the mission is. Let's just try to kill everybody. Now, you start uh, obviously here with uh, high explosive shells, as we can see them here. We don't have armor piercing one, and we have repair, unlimited repairs, but their reload time is 25 seconds, which is actually quite decent. Anyway, anyway, uh, how do you play this game? Always point towards the enemy, front towards the enemy. That's the safest way to, way to do, but you're gonna have some kind of wishes to engage rear guns as well, so you're gonna turn on your side often, like we did right now, uh, to use all of your guns. Now, this is dangerous, especially with cruiser ships. On these tiers, I don't think this is gonna be an issue, because it looks like... Ah, it looks like odds are in our favor. Trust me, there are worse ships than this to play with. So, let's see if we can get this black swan... On the other side, destroyed. Oh, he's turning his 
bow towards us so we're gonna have a little big bigger surface to hit uh, luckily for us they don't have any there we go first ship down let's go uh, and attack those with weaker always finish the ships always this is going to be something that's going to help you through this always finish the low hp ships if at all possible just finish the low hp ships first it's really 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 important okay so we're going to try to finish this one eerie that's american ship okay the last shells we're going to go and focus on the next one Hermelin on the other side looks this is how it's gonna be you're not gonna play Germans versus Germans and Japanese versus Japanese no you're playing ships versus ships and these are the ships that are uh, currently uh, battling we have Hermelin we are, we are sailing in Hermelin uh, and we are fighting against Hermelin this is gonna be usual thing that you're gonna see Petro Pavlovsk on one on the other side and all, all that was Khabarovsk we're gonna focus on the next one black swan it's on 60 percent we're gonna go and finish it looks like we are i think this is way too easy uh, i don't think any of you will have any issues just don't rush forward don't be the first one in the battle except if you're on your destroyer and you know what you're doing just stay behind and you know do your fair share of work if possible and now we have the last one here is this the actually last one i do not know i don't remember this I think I did this like way, way back. We have, and the last second. Ah, we didn't get the last kill. Uh, usually you would get, if you kill all five ships or five ships, you get Hermelin. Oh, not enough XP to get there. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. This was an easy game and probably all of you will uh, go through this. So you get experience, no free XP. Probably we don't get it in the beginning. I don't know why. Doesn't matter. Uh, we have team score we are number one number one and then we have detailed report if you want to go through this it's up to you how much you damage did you do with which guns artillery high explosive shells all that stuff and then what kind of experience you get got we have no premium account here we should get some i think we're gonna get it now and without premium this is the difference between premium account and non-premium account you get this much with premium and this much without premium so you're gonna have this at the end of every and of worship premium account purchased this is as a reward that this is a reward that you get if you use the link in the description i think you're going to get seven plus seven days of premium account seven days now and seven when you reach tier six i believe not 100 percent sure we're going to check now as soon as i press this button but um yeah this is my first battle on my new account uh Uliki. and let's see what we have here uh yay medal i don't remember these medals this is new access level the guy is gonna talk to you i'm not gonna uh, listen to what he has to say we are much smarter and better than the game no i'm kidding just listen to what they're saying okay so this is it this is where we are zero doubloons uh we should be getting stuff uh let's see let's see let's see random battles in order to get access we need to get two more battles and then uh no random battles what is this ah right 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 when we go through these things we're gonna get the premium account days ship commanders other stuff like this just just do the, so this is the access level currently in the beginning you don't have a lot of access to the game you don't have everything we have like 10 of these up here like your profile your clan and this kind of stuff tech tree is the uh what you can research and this is what i was uh telling whoa all the graphics and stuff showing you all the different uh vehicles that you can buy all the different ships that you can buy anyway we are here german we played with one german ship if you click on your ship or equipment here you will be able to see what kind of guns and everything else your ship has if we got 350 experience we would already be able to research dresden which looks like a crappy ship, but um, uh, we would already be able to research that. So, tech tree, you have every nation, every ship, the researchable ship, and also premium ships here. Hey, get it still for free XP. This is amazing ship. If you get this enough of this free XP, which you're going to start getting soon, uh, Egger is one of the ships to go for, but that's way, way, way in the future. Back to basics. Play, play, play. Play, play, play. Equipment. 
you have uh, a lot of stuff that you can do with equipment here. Uh, at the moment, as a newbie, you don't have access to camouflages, you don't have, have access to flags and this kind of stuff. You will get a lot of access. Don't spend money on this. Whenever you have this gold doubloon stuff, do not even click on it. Then get away from it. I mean, you're not going to spend any money. We don't have any doubloons. Just don't mind this. You're going to get additional slots a lot, like two a month for free. Don't worry about that. News. News. News are important things to read on a daily basis. Whenever you have any red ticks here, just go and read through the news. So you have some, this is advertisement, listen to me, just go through the news. You're going to find the red orange button somewhere there with claim reward. Currently, this is just sale. They're just trying to sell us stuff. Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Uh, this is where you go to the armory. This is unfortunately going to send you away on uh, to, to the online armory, not the one in-game, because I believe in-game it's still not open for us. We'll check it in a second. But news, news, news. Just uh, go and scroll through all the news you might have. Let's see. No, this is just the options. You might have free stuff here. Like if you scroll through this and, uh, for example, we don't have anything here. This is news. Here we go. The these are some of the missions we have German reunification. This is celebration of the German. So these missions are all the time. Some battle Argentine Navy Day, Brazilian, whatever, you know, this kind of stuff. So we are now participating in this German reunification, always participate in all of these missions. They are quite useful. Um, even though you don't understand where they are, how to resolve them, they are being resolved in the background. Birthday gifts, if you set your birthday, which we did in the last episode, I will set it again. I can do it. I'll probably do it for tomorrow. And then tomorrow we will uh, see what we're going to get here with premium accounts, super containers and this kind of stuff. We'll, we'll have fun with this. I won't do it now, though. And then um, I need to remember this. Can I? Uh, of course, I'm just alt tabbing all the time here. Sorry about that. Um, I can I can set my uh, birthday uh, date of birth specified. Yeah, I'm gonna set it for tomorrow. That would be second. Let's see if we can uh, second of not a January, but we're gonna go back. I'll go up. October second of October. We're gonna set as our birthday, even though it's 17th on December. Prepare your gifts. It's only a few months to go, and then. Uh, some missed updates, like I said, just scroll to the read. If you want to see the the, the videos, that's fine. You can get some um, in useful information and then the voting for a new map that's going to come out in freaking five years or something. Who cares? Uh, OK, some historical images. Uh, often here you will have some rewards. Let's see if we have any here. No, it doesn't appear so. Armchair admirals. Oh, of course, I don't want to watch this. And who cares? No, especially I don't want to ask. This is a short documentary about 3D modeling of Z-35 ship and then King of the Sea. The last news we have here, if we scroll all the way down just to see if we have any uh, this is for the tournaments. Unfortunately, this is for clans or big teams. Uh, COTS. Yeah, it's a COTS competition. I think my clan is uh, applied for this, but it's tier 10 ships. If you're just starting out, this is not something that... Um, and not something that uh, it's going to interest you at the moment. We need to get to tier 10 ships first. So anyway, this is where we are. We're going to go back to port. Uh, I always try to change this designer uh, table. The previous one was nice. This one is absolutely horrible. I mean, game has really good graphics, but this here table looks like crap. I don't like it. This looks cartoonish. While uh, um, the graphics of this game are quite, quite nice. For example, if you like any of these, I like, uh, for example, let's say New York here. New York in the save changes. It's going to take a few seconds for us to load. It's going to be German ship in New York. As you can see here, big buildings. This is, of course, New York after 9-11. No, of course, it's in the 40s or 30s or something like that. Anyway, so we need to de deal with these uh, random battles. We're not going to do this now. I'm going to leave this for you. Recruiting station. This is if you want to invite your friends like I did invite you. This is what you can get and you can copy your details, but you're going to have to follow that link to online site rather than from the game. And then rewards collected. We got 1 million uh, credits here. As you can see, like I said, after you finish these access level missions, which is 
Access level two, we need to details. We, we just need to play, nothing, nothing else than that. And you will have additional access to armories. You will have access to more slots. You're going to get some doubloons. And I believe even 5 million of these, trust me, 100 million of these is not going to be enough later in the game. So these are all just numbers, you know, just play. Don't spend too much money. You don't need anything from here. After we, we can play another game after you research the second level, uh, we will have uh, some additional stuff we're going to search for. Um, will, you can you can uh, get oh, oh leave the queue. Sorry about that. You can always leave the queue. You don't have to battle. Let me just see if we can go into random battle. No, unfortunately, the only thing you can battle in the beginning is uh, co-op battles. They you earn a little bit less experience there, but it's much safer. Your opponents are AIs rather than real players. By the way, if you didn't know, real players are bread and butter of this game. So you will uh, in, you will um, meet a lot of them. Right. Uh, this is a 15 minute long video. Oh yeah, they have sexy turrets. Uh, the Germans, most of the German turrets are similar design, but they have really like nice, slick ship design. 15 minute long video about, well, I don't want to say more or less nothing. I don't really know what our next access level is. And I think I'm going to leave it here. I don't think I'm going to go any further. I'll just show you about uh, how, how everything begins. Now we unlock the level one and it looks like, yeah, we unlock the level two. We get for this level, we get 1 million credits for the next level we're gonna get another one and a half million credits that's fine then we get uh rewards for battles left what what is this reward it doesn't show us what the rewards are looks like we have to come closer to this to see here we go three days of premium and then here doesn't it just says rewards but i think it would be either doubloons or credits and this is how many here we go if we continue with these 12 battles now uh you're gonna get all this oh upgrades i don't remember those oh i can't wait I'm, I, we're probably gonna go through get together through this and um let's see here we're gonna get seven war make gaming containers these are camouflage and and uh, the, the little flags and yeah as you can see just go through these battles on your own uh, and here we go with doubloons, additional pr premium days. You just have to battle, 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 and you're gonna get the final access is at level 15. Uh, really? 200 battles? Yeah, that's fine. You're gonna get used to um, you're gonna get used to playing against enemies. First, paper enemies. Later on, it's gonna be real enemies. We're gonna go through that uh, together. I'm not sure how I'm gonna play this. I don't know if I have time to play 200 battles. So we'll do it together. We'll do it together. But as, as you can see, uh, we can uh, get a lot of premium days, and this will go fast. You will collect um, free XP. You're gonna collect a lot of uh, uh, rewards. Uh, that's gonna help you start the game. As you can see we don't have a war spite uh, tier 6 uh, ship we don't have it here but we will have it uh, in the future you know what what the hell let's go for a second battle in this in this co-op we have four cruisers waiting this is a tier one the lowest tier battle we don't get carriers until tier four you don't get uh, battleships and uh, uh, destroyers and well, cruisers, you have it in tier one, but cruisers you get later on as well. Uh, better ones, faster ones. Well, de depending if it's a light cruiser, then it's faster. Whoa. Okay. Now proper map islands. Let's see which one is this. Oh, I remember. This is one of my favorite ones. This is battle happens fast here. Island is a map that you have an island chain in the middle and one in the other side has access to the, to the cap. Uh, they have their own caps. Uh, a suggestion to win these matches don't rush don't be the fastest guy there now you can use the fastest speed but just sail diagonally don't sail towards the enemy um try to finish the ships that are already damaged don't let them um get away and continue shooting at you and your allies so if you can just finish the baby ships the other ships uh, damage ships we gonna continue with this one i'm gonna go diagonally on our side of the island chain as you can see we have range for the uh, we have range to hit the enemy ships but we won't push it don't push it uh, just stay back defend your cap let them come these are also bots they are not real players and they will they will come at you we also need to choose the music that i'm gonna put in the background 
I'm not really sure. Of course, I can't use commercial music, but I'm not sure if we should have any music in the background. Usually, music in other games for me on this channel uh, suppresses any background noise that you might hear have or something like that. I'm not really sure, but... But... Uh, what we will do here is uh, we have a, one ship coming from this side. This is fine. Uh, we might have a little bit of a... You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, we might lose this uh, Hashidate. I think I'm going to let him let him do the voodoo that he do do so well. I will focus with the rest of our ships on this Hermelin here and uh, try to finish her. There we go. By the way, I don't know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff, and I like to know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. So my question to you is, why are we addressing ships as her? Why is it the female? So I don't know that, but it sounds weird, especially if if a um, ship has a male name like, I don't know, Dmitar Donskoy or uh, or Kronstadt or, or like if it has, a, it's interesting. It's, it's, uh, I don't know where the culture comes from. I, I actually am wearing blue and white striped shirt, the ones like sailors usually wear. And uh, I still don't know why sailors wear that. I didn't. Wear, I don't wear this because of this. It's just it, this shirt was a gift. Uh, just <laughs> the clean one I had. So anyway, uh, I'm properly dressed now. I'm properly captainized. Uh, we're gonna try to finish this Hermeline and uh, we are because I have some mods installed that's showing me the HP of my side versus their side. You can see that on our side we also have couple of uh, um, couple of weird ships ships um, with the weird names and Armignon and Popov and this kind of stuff. This is these are all bots. These are not real people playing these uh, ships. Wow. I just hit my own ship. Unfortunately, well, I would say unfortunately because uh, I think it's much more realistic if we have uh, team damage. But unfortunately, here you don't have team damage. So you cannot destroy your own ships, your own teammates. Uh, before you could do, you can literally uh, set a, the, the, the white <laughs> torpedoes in the side of your own uh, shipmates and they would just explode you would get um, you, your name would turn pink and you would be ashamed for your misdeeds sometimes it happens by accident so it's not always like it's um intentional uh, team damage uh stefan grubas this guy sounds like he's from my neck of the woods uh from the balkans uh so this is colleague Probably, well, countryman of mine or ex-countryman from Yugoslavia. Anyway, so um, we look like we are winning this one. Uh, looks like most of the enemy ships are here. We did lose one guy on the other side, like I mentioned. Uh, probably I shouldn't have backstopped him, but uh, it kept us alive. And thus we managed to deal a lot of damage. We have a lot of ships, but they're on the other side. I'm going to go and turn on this side of the... This is the port side, yeah. I'm going to turn our guidance towards port side because I'm going to turn towards the other side. Looks like our ships are determined to cap their cap. I would like to inflict a little bit more damage. Uh, if we press tab button, it's going to show how many ships we killed. Oh, darn it, we killed three. So if we killed a cap... Oh, this is... Oh... I bad. Sorry, Stefan. Sorry, sorry. I just see a ship and start shooting. This is how I usually do. This is probably why they forbade us. Oh, uh, try to still kill, still kill, still kill because we can get the. Ah, uh, darn it. We can. We want to get. If you get five kills in this game, you get something called the Kraken. Uh, that's a badge. You get additional experience and you will get a few of these badges uh, eventually, so fear not. Um, uh, doesn't look like we're going to be able to get any of them in this episode, in this uh, battle, because this guy is not even on our scopes. It's behind the island and voila, we're done. We're done. 23 minutes into this episode. Wow, why didn't we get this in the beginning? I think they intentionally didn't allow us to get this many uh, experience just because we would play two games in Hermeline. Hermeline is a really beautiful ship and uh, I like that it has turrets. You're gonna, you're gonna see difference, <laughs> different ships. So there you go. We get, we got some uh, ship party. 
uh, hopefully that's gonna bring us something you have team score we are number two uh broken 24 is the best ship that fought on our side he obviously did more damage well he gathered more he he got the brain of the party i got ship party and we have ship party as well so i'm even oh with my colleague stefan I, I i don't know the guy it just sounds like he's from the balkans his nickname there we go uh what would you do now uh you go to equipment you can straight away see that we have enough experience to research a new ship click on the new ship purchase research yes perfect purchase uh yes without slot do not click on the slot because it will buy you additional slot we have 11 of them so it's not really important we don't care about that okay that's it we don't have free xp we're gonna get that later on new achievement uh, naval architect whoa we got something uh we got new news i'm gonna check the news first okay okay steer to the lighthouse it could be some missions or something i'm not gonna read through it i'm not gonna watch it here i'm gonna let you guys who play this game check it out it could be some mission you need to, to visit the lighthouse or some event yes sure whatever uh back to the game tech tree uh we research the ship unfortunately you cannot transfer the experience from the first ship you have so we have additional 400 experience here nope experience is only transferred to well, it's not transferred ever you can only transfer it to free xp we're gonna change check that out but you're not gonna be doing this if you're if you like this channel you're not gonna be doing this never buy and don't ever exchange uh, xp for money you can do that but don't do it uh what we will be doing now is uh, checking the tech tree uh and see where we are we are at dresden this is a new ship in our uh well we the one that we bought we're gonna check it out as well so let's see dresden here she is ah okay i can address it with she uh this is where the jokes start you have these old ships with the guns on the side without turrets they have some kind of turrets even though it's just protection for the gunners it's not really even a full turret and you can see here on the on the back side so this ship has here armor layout it's pretty weak doesn't really matter we're not gonna go through the armor now we're gonna go at some other time uh, for now this is the only thing you need to know don't show your broadside to the enemies uh, angle yourself as much as you have to if you have to if not just use the front guns uh, most of the time on the lower tier ships it's gonna be fine but later on it won't later on you're gonna have citadel and when somebody hits you there you're gonna know when somebody hits you there it's gonna be devastating for you you're gonna lose like a third of your health even more depends on tier ship and that kind of stuff but for now in the beginning just have fun in th in six battles you would get premium account you, everything here is gonna change you're gonna have more options you're gonna have more options you're gonna have more missions and all that stuff but first thing first you're gonna have to play your first 200 battles like this in the co-op i believe so yeah until you get all the rewards and premium accounts. trust me this is really really fun i think i'm gonna leave it here can we get the captain no unfortunately we still cannot recruit captains um I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to do it soon and i think you're gonna get a good captain if you use the link in the description of the video uh, you're gonna get a good captain eventually so that's it just have fun research whatever ship you want you don't have to go with the german ones you can go with japanese ones in the beginning i think it's japan usa and germany that they offer you so feel free to go with any of those even united states ships they have amazing amazing battleships really amazing uh um the the carriers i'm still didn't go through their destroyer or cruiser line but uh carriers and the and the battleships are absolutely amazing japanese they have apps the best one of the probably the best uh, cr uh the destroyers uh towards shimakaze and haragumo those are killers uh on the german side they are fun they're probably the most fun ships in the game uh, they have different options like uh, they have really good secondaries secondaries are the guns that you don't directly use but your crew uses those secondary guns to fire at the enemy ships you get them a little bit later down the tech tree but i just absolutely love them i'm currently at frederick de grosse you have bismarck here gneisenau um beautiful beautiful ships uh i have 
most of this tree opened, I believe. Ninberg, I stopped here and I'm pretty far in the destroyer section and I have all the carriers from German side. So any of these, if you decide to go for, you're gonna have fun. Uh, Japanese, Americans and Germans, absolute classics. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna shut up now. Uh, let me know if you want some music in the background. Quiet, you know, just a little bit. Some kind of modern tunes, rock tunes, whatever. We can deal with that. But uh, other than that, uh, let this episode be quiet in the background. Okay, that's it. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you have description of the video. Questions down there, I'm gonna answer them as soon as I get them. As soon as I see them, I'm gonna help you out, guys. And also Discord channel. Join there, we can play together as well. Okay, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.